All right. Hey, I'm Luna from Central Artistry. And I'm Sonia, a somatic sexologist and empowerment coach. Yeah, and now we're going to be chatting to you about a few simple ways that you can make your kinky play safer. Yes. So the first thing that we always, always implement in our plays is a check-in. And in that check-in, you can make it really long and you can make it a bit more concise. But what you really don't want to miss is covering emotional and physical needs. So you're basically going to ask the other if there is anything that they need. And it can range from maybe a pillow under the legs or under the knees to water to whatever it is. Emotional needs, obviously, like if there's anything that they feel maybe vulnerable today about or fragile or just whatever comes up and then another really good one also to share is desires because you just want to know what the other wants to experience so that you're basically in the same direction on the same path and both of you are going to share those things mm. and i'll link to a comprehensive video on a million different check-ins that you can do underneath as well the next one is to start soft and build up slowly so especially if um, people are new to kink but particularly even if you've been doing it for a while like you don't want to shock the body too much by going in too fast you want to allow the body to relax and soften so it doesn't go into a contraction and also because this can trigger the stress response in the brain of fight flight freeze if things uh, escalate too quickly and then your mind can't kind of keep up with what's happening so it's important to always have this kind of slow build up and if someone is new and they have a bit of anxiety around their kink play then it's really good to kind of bounce between being in the scene and uh you know having your tough role or um you know the kind of hard character that you're putting on and some sweet loving affection so don't be afraid to mid play uh make some eye contact let them know that they're safe and that you love them or something like that so that they uh yeah feel really cared for and it can be soft and hard at the same time it's not mutually exclusive yeah totally another really good point is to actually not have any goal so when we have a goal often we get very focused on reaching something on achieving something and also it creates a lot of expectations and possible disappointment if that would not be reached so really just not having any goal and really being present to your partner, being in the now, being with what is, not having, yeah, not having the expectations of a certain level of arousal or emotions or non-emotions, but just really being in this loving container of embracing whatever comes up and just really holding the space for that. Mm. And the next tip is using communication tools like the traffic light system and as well, obviously, safe words are vital in kink. So the traffic light system is saying green means go or you can go harder or I like that. Orange means like, oh, I'm hitting my limit. I don't want more of that or maybe I want something changed. And then red means stop doing that action. So then you don't have to stop the whole scene when you say red it can be just that uh, particular thing and maybe have a bit of a break while then you can um yeah the safe word is to end the scene completely so make sure you're on the same page before you start playing around what kind of system you're going to use what kind of communication tools and always check in midway as well uh, in the middle of play always asking is this okay how do you like the speed how do you like the intensity uh, getting really used to communicating and um, also ask the bottom speaking your needs and communicating if you need something changed and really, really, really know your tools and techniques, meaning get informed, get informed about the things that you are using. You might want to try them on yourself if it's tools, really get support and learn from a professional person, especially also when it comes to things like rope or bondage or anything that's a bit more extreme. Just really don't be too shy to ask for support and getting some guidance. It's really so, so, so important. And also you might want to find someone or even just do a lot of research and get a bit informed about trauma and how to 
notice that and how to react if something is coming up for any of you. Yeah, so hopefully these tips help you a bit. Obviously, it's just a really quick run through. Uh, Sanya and I created a course, The Art of Tantric Kink, where we have uh, a lot more information on a lot of different kink practices, including a lot of safety and trauma awareness and things like that. So if you're interested, then check out the link in the comments. Yeah, and it's an online course, so you can do it anytime and from anywhere. <laughs>